Welcome to Construction Battle Suits, a video on the Sarko's Guardian XO and the Suit X Max. Construction is amongst the most dangerous and toughest jobs in the world. It is highly physical and mentally demanding, and only the strong could have made it until now. There are many robots and suits in development, but none of them are as practical as the Sarko's Guardian XO or the Suit X Max. I chose these two suits because they show the most promise for real world construction. They're very different from one another. I see them being very useful for their own specific construction tasks, whereas the Guardian would be more heavy duty and the Suit X being more light duty. We'll get into that in a moment though. First, are they man, machine, both? Are the robots coming? <laughs> I'll be back. Seeing that robots are years, maybe decades away, scientists and engineers have decided to upgrade the human worker instead. I don't know about you, but if I seen this driving around, I'd probably shit my pants. That's some Robocop shit going on there. And then there's this creepy looking thing. Ugh. And what's this? An elephant? What's this supposed to be? I, I don't even know what to say about this. I, I don't even know what to say. Because we all want to fly around like Tony Stark and Iron Man, don't we? Sarko's Guardian XO will open up new opportunities for people who regularly wouldn't have the strength to perform normal construction tasks. It will also extend the lives and years of service to our current workforce, improving quality of life overall. Speaking with Sarko's Robotics COO Chris Buffet, let's ask him how the robot suit works. An operator in, in the robot is actually having the weight transfer through the robot so it's not on their back. It's not, it, it is significantly reducing any burden on the muscle. They only feel what we want them to feel. There are not many robots in the world that are as efficient as what we're doing. The amount of data that this machine can produce uh, every single second is just astounding. And so I personally find that very cool. Collecting user data, you say? Hmm. Interesting how all new technology seems to come with the collection of user data. You can see how this could quickly be used as a tool against us, right? Replacing one problem with another. Hmm. So what it does is augment the operator's strength without restricting movement. It can amplify operator strength by up to 20 times or up to a max payload of 200 pounds. When I'm drywalling, I can lift up to 16,000 pounds a day. A single sheet weighs 111 pounds. A lot of the times I'm lifting that by myself. 90% of my work is at heights or above my head. So you can imagine how exhausting it is a full day of work. It is a very, very exhausting day. It would be pretty cool to be able to drywall by myself at the speed of two workers. The robot could hold the drywall up and I could use my free arms to be screwing it off. That would be something. You can lease a Guardian XO for the cost of an additional worker. Imagine that, a worker that always shows up on time every day and never gets sick. That is something. The RAAS program, the Robot as a Service program, is inclusive of all training, maintenance, and software upgrades.
clearly this suit is a monster. Now, there's not a lot of data on it or real world demonstrations, so I still have a lot of questions that are unanswered. Is it agile enough? Will the suit hold up in extreme elements like rain and mud and snow and freezing temperatures? Sometimes we work in minus 30 to minus 40 weather. Will you be able to climb scaffolding with it? Will you be able to access and egress into and out of lifts, right? Are you gonna be able to work at heights, operate a lift while wearing it? All these things will be interesting to see in, in the coming years to see how the is uh, gets developed and see where it goes. This next suit, the Suit X Max, is very different from the Guardian XO. Now, there have been a lot more testing, real world testing, so there's a lot more data on it. It is rumored that you can buy a complete set, all three modules, the Leg X, Back X, Shoulder X, for about $13,000. Now I've never seen one of these in real life, like on a job site or at a supplier's warehouse or anything like that, but I've been watching the footage, and this suit shows a lot of promise and it answers a lot of the questions that I had about the Guardian XO. You can climb scaffold, something I don't see the Guardian XO ever being able to do. Uh, it shows workers framing, drywalling, operating EWPs, and operating forklift. So it can do a lot more, I think. Let's ask Sudex COO Frank Borman why the suit was developed and how it works. There are about 10,000 spinal cord injuries every year in the United States and three million wheelchair users in the United States, about 800,000 stroke uh, victims every year. All right, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is... So starting 2010, uh, we've been to job sites around the world, construction, shipbuilding, logistics, aerospace. Um, and so this is, we call it the MAX, Modular Agile Exoskeletons. Yes, I know. Bring me to justice. Oh, God, how I missed it. So, you know, let's say that I was a mechanic and I'm working overhead or I'm a welder and I have to hold my weld. This is basically supporting my arms for an infinite time. So about 90% of the worker injuries are at one of these three joints, the shoulders, the lower back, or the knees. And so this not only prevents injuries, but it also um, enhances their capabilities because it allows them to pick up things that they might not otherwise. And it also makes them less fatigued during the day so that they, by the end of the day, they are less tired. And if you're less tired, you'd be more, more productive. The number one priority in construction should be the safety of our workers, but only by having higher production rates will companies consider buying this. And both suits clearly will provide that. There is a desperate need for more workers in the field. So these suits should be of high interest to construction companies. I have put my body through a lot of hurt over the years. And it seems like when I'm on a project on a job, my whole life is consumed by it because outside of my shifts, I have no energy to do anything else. Wouldn't it be awesome to have energy outside of work? Dance, but she don't know how to Nice hot rod. Injuries and depression caused by low energy, always feeling like you're letting your wife and your kids down, leads to things like substance abuse and divorce, and an overall poor quality of life. I see this tech being extremely good for overhead jobs, things like structural steel and concrete, drywall, heavy gauge steel stud framing, Jobs that are physically demanding and with lots of repetitive motion, these suits could really help. Why don't we see these suits in the field? Save your people, companies, come on! These units have to be legislated. I mean, workers should have the choice to use them. Companies that say that they're doing everything to ensure the health and safety of their workers are lying until they start equipping them with things like these, the Guardian XO or the Suit X Max. 
the best way to learn construction, if you want to learn blueprints and specs and contracts or your trade specific tasks, the best way to do that is to join our live streams. I go live twice a week, Friday night and Sunday morning. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and have notifications, that's that bell, turn to all to be notified when we go live. There you can ask me questions in real time and we have a really good learning sessions. This is Chris everybody, I hope to see you there. Bye for now.